Hi there, everyone. This is Mailman Zero playing Wizards and Warriors 3. Karos, Visions of Power. Copyright 1991, Acclaim Entertainment Incorporated, licensed to Acclaim for USA and Canada by Rare Coin and Inc., licensed by Nintendo, copyright 1991, Rare Limited. Whew. Wizards and Warriors 3. I have absolutely no idea what this game is about, except I have played, I think it's called Iron Sword, which is the second game in this series. Um, after a long and furious battle, Ryan Carson destroyed the evil Mecha, but the Enchanters and Human Spirit had survived. Okay, so if we get some story here. Oh man, has Evil Spirit survived? It looks kind of green. Slimer, don't do that! I thought you were a good ghost. In his weakened state, the wizard fled the scene of the battle. He sought sanctuary far away in the city of something unpronounceable, uh, a happy and peaceful place. Until he arrived. Those clouds are pretty. I like it. Well, how you do, Mr. Slimer? Gonna have a Big Mac tonight? Meanwhile, Kerns was lost in the harsh wilderness. Without food, armor, or weapons, his journey was long, cold, hungry, and perilous. Where did his armor go? How did he lose his weapons? I can understand no food, but... Careful, there's a car coming. And a lollipop head. Okay, so these are not humans. These are scary, and they steal our stuff. And they fall on your head, and they give you your sword back. Now safely entrenched in the royal palace, the rejuvenated Mount Hill wickedly seizes the throne from good King James, thus gaining control of the city. No, not Super Mario Brothers 3! Yay, we have a new king! After many months of tireless wandering, Kuros finally reaches the city gates, and his greatest challenge yet, but it's only just begun. So apparently we get a high score list too. And we're back to the title screen. Well, let's go ahead and play. So, I have an evil meter, which I'm guessing is probably for when I fight enemies. That's a nice jump you've got there. The controls are a little bit slippery, like, he, he walks just a couple of steps after I let go, which is kind of odd. Oh, I can jump on the door frame. If I hold down the jump button, he continues to jump. And what about this? Okay, that puts me in some sort of a fighting stance, where I can then control my weapon if I hold the B button. So I've got some sort of, like, get away from enemies, attack the enemies, upper cut, some sort of thrust to their knees, diagonals, diagonal down as well. This is going to be uh, quite a bit of uh, difficulty. Okay, I got 10 points for something. And I like to climb on houses. I am like the jumpiest knight ever. Who said white men can't jump? Are you... am I supposed to fight you? Is that a good thing? Whoa! I lost some life already? Ah! Uh, got that guy good. What is this? 50? Okay. It doesn't hurt me to fall long distances, that's good to know. Hey, dog. I can hit you with my sword. I can't slash in the air, though which seems to be kind of a limitation. Oh, and I tend to slide off the side of things. Can I go in this door or anything? No, but I can do a little dance. Alright. Oh, I forget that I can jump on top of doors. It's kind of odd. Like, everything has a surface I can jump on. I can collect this. It looks like money, but it's just giving me points. I'm not sure that I have money. What happens if I pause it? I get a cool music difference. What about the select button? Nothing there. Are you a good dog? Would you hurt me if I run into you? No, but what if I hit you? Yeah, now you hurt me. Okay. Am I gonna die because I keep because the dog keeps hitting me? Oh man. 
How many times can I hit you? Oh boy, now I got two guys on me here. I got some spiky stuff here, which I'm guessing doesn't really hurt anything. Oh, I finally killed a dog, but I don't get anything for it? That took forever to kill that dog. What about this guy? I mean, he's real short. What, you want a, you want a piece of this? Yeah. Come fight my sword, I can get you good. You try to punch me? I'll knife you. Okay. So if you attack stuff, it'll keep attacking you forever. And now you have to kill it. I didn't mean to attack you, Doug. Sorry. Okay, I don't really know what to do now. I, I can't seem to go onto any of these buildings. How about... Oh, I push up on that one I could go in. Hello! I'm not going to hurt you because I don't want to fight anymore. What's in here? Nothing. I can't go in the fireplace, unfortunately. Oh, but I can jump up here. This is quite a large little house you've got. Can I jump up here? I bet you this is like some special thing I can't get till later, or I just don't know what I'm doing. Both could be true, because I don't know what I'm doing. Well, hello, Russian man. Would you like to give me your pelt hat? What happened to him? Wow! I think I got a lot of money right there. This looks like I could go in it. Nope. It just looks like it. There sure are lots of closed doors around here. I got some meat. I mean, this is the weirdest place to live. I mean, who would build their house on stilts this high? I want to get that, but I fell. And I fell again. One more try. Apparently my helmet is not enough to get that. And that did not jump me at all. Whee! Okay, I have to say, granted I've never played this before, but I'm feeling a little bit underwhelmed. It stuck me in a city full of guys that I'm not supposed to fight, that I can just push off the side of things and they disappear. And I did fall far enough to hurt myself, so I can hurt myself from falling. Duly noted. Anything else that I'm missing here? Other than I'm the jumpingest knight ever? Looks like I could go in there if I could figure out how to get up there. It's probably my next destination or something. So if I can just figure out how to get up... Whoa, I jumped on his head! Cool. Okay, so I made it here. Anything in here? There's some meat. Does that give me back life? It does. But it also gives me points. There's the king face. What about... Whoa! I thought that was something to collect. So I can't go in here, so it's not quite like Super Mario Bros. 2. Get some more meat, because I need it, because I've been fighting guys because I'm failing. Yeah. Okay. I collected some more stuff. Is that what I was supposed to do? Why is this... What is this stuff falling? I don't get it. Alright. Onward and upward. Yay, I got another pot that's on display up here for no reason. Okay, that hurts me. Good to know. Some sort of a uh, beehive? Okay. Now I know. Don't run into the beehive. Maybe I can hit it with my sword or something. Probably mess things up pretty bad. Oh, can't get up there. What am I supposed to do here? Well, am I supposed to go forward? I don't know, but I get this meat. So there's a locked door. Apparently I'm supposed to find a key somewhere. Uh, does this take me somewhere? Nope. So I'm stuck in this stupid town. I mean, beautiful town until I can put- yeah, look how fast I can push this guy. You want to walk as fast as a knight? You gotta keep up with me. Yeah. So, can't walk out that way either. So, I don't know what to do. I'm stuck in some town. Well, that worked. I tried to jump, but instead I slid off the side, which was completely awesome. 
Did I go in this one already? Nope, this is a new one. I'm trying to go in these doors. Oh, look, it's one of our friendly innkeepers. Hello, what can I do for you? Okay, that must be money down at the bottom that I've got. I think I need a key. Alright, I got a key. Let's buy some gossip. Uh, should I buy gossip? No. Wow, he really follows me around. Yay, I found the bar, which apparently is the hub of everything in this game. So that was probably like two inches from my starting position, I don't know. If I'd been paying attention. Now I just have to find that place that had the key. Oh, that was easy enough. Can I use my key now? Maybe I hit the door with my key? I push up and nothing happens. Um, maybe down an A? No. Maybe up an A? No. Maybe a start and I push buttons? Nope. Select doesn't seem to do anything here. Maybe select and jump? No. Select and jump again? Select and that thing? No. Okay, well, now I truly have no idea what I'm doing. I really thought I'd figured something out there, but, uh, yeah, so far I have no idea. So, uh, well, <laughs> that's a little introduction to the so far the best game I've ever played on the Nintendo. So uh, join me next time when hopefully I can figure out how to get in this door. Bye. And a baker comes out here, or maybe a butcher. Ernie Shuttleworth Esquire, proprietor of the Golden Dragon Hotel. Do we get like a full cast of characters here? This is the exact same guy, with a different shirt on. And now it's Mr. Wilkes. Why are there keepers of taverns as, like, the, the heroes in this game? I mean, how, how long is this going to go on if I let it keep going? Is there more than three? Malone, landlord of the Lazy Wizard. Go innkeepers. And, of course, a guy wearing green, because, you know, you wouldn't want to wear the same color as the last guy, even though you have the same beard. Amos, innkeeper of the Fiery Dragon. Yay, innkeeper. Go, proprietors. Oh, another fellow wearing green. Newton and Ridley, keeper of the Naughty Damsel. Ooh, that does not sound like a regular tavern. And a man wearing a brown shirt enters... Tubby Gilroy, barman of the Goblin's Armpit. That's a great name for a bar. Well, this is something. Sir William of Odd, Knight Captain of the First Knight's Guild. Sir Timothy of Brookton, Knight Captain of the Second Knight's Guild. It's a white knight. Sir Graham of Gardena, Knight Captain of the Third Knight's Guild. How many Knight's Guilds are there? Oh. That's not a knight. Fingers, keeper of the first thieves' guild. It's nice that the thieves have a guild, you know. I mean, you don't want them stepping on each other's territory. Let me guess. Second thieves' guild? Yay, the cat. You look just like your other thief friend. Fingers. I like how you stop, and then walk again. Slippery, keeper of the third Thieves' Guild. 
Slippery fingers. <laughs>